Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I've been a little... <coughs> I'm sorry I haven't been really active. I've been sick and I've been trying to get the layout back in working progress, but it's not been going really well. Um, besides that, I do have some new things to show you. And that is these guys right here. Give me a second. And a new freight car that I have acquired. But these are, uh, the double stack cars are only on the layout for a little bit. They belong to a club and they said that, well, they just loaned them to me because they needed to make some space, but they're going to give them to me, so I thought I'd bring them here and get them on the layout, so this is one of the ones that's, uh, I forgot what it's called, I'm sorry guys, it's really late, and I am really tired, and I'm sick, so this doesn't help me, this is a, I forgot, bear with me. It'll come back to me, but uh, the intermodal cars, they're articulated, sorry, they're articulated. So, put them on, and yeah, articulated intermodal cars. And I have uh, this five, and it, I'm even getting the containers with them, my ski, um, Horizon Lines, I, uh, Canada. These are 48s. Uh, with the BN and DDTX as the uh, twin pack with the Brilliant Northern logo and T -T DDTX. No, DTTX. And then the new freight car, too, actually, is this guy right here. Move these. This guy right here. A Santa Fe green car. Really nice. I I like it. Runs really well. Um, I got it for about fifteen dollars, so I thought that would be a good deal. And this one is a uh, scale trains. My friend, my buddy, actually gave this one to me. And this is a really good looking car. Not gonna lie, I like this one a lot. And that's one of the new things. Um, I've been doing some graffiti and stuff on the freight cars. Um, I would get the other ones, but... <laughs> Ouch. They're sitting over there. Uh, no new engines. Uh, there is this, too, that's coming with the uh, intermodal cars. And that is a Union Pacific trailer on a well, spine car basically but well, it's not one of the articulated ones this is the uh, uh, these are the regular ones I don't know why they're giving this one to me but yeah uh, oops hold on a moment I did show you guys this already I think the AC44 Basically, there's just nothing new that's been going on. Oh, well, yeah, there is actually. So, I'm selling some things on eBay, and I'm selling a uh, one of these cars right here. A Erie Mining Company hopper. These are really heavy, as you can hear. Like, extremely heavy. Let me find my weight, me uh, weight meter real quick, and maybe I'll show you. I don't know where it is. But, um, these are guys are really heavy, and they do come with a load, uh, there's some white paint on this one, and they are weathered lightly, and they ha they run phenomenal, um, I ran them on my trains a lot, and that's on there for 12 bucks on eBay, and this is on there for 10 just a little Tyco Durango caboose. 
and I'm going to be throwing this on there too. A regular um, radio equipped New York Central System caboose. Uh, it's not a normal caboose, but it is HO scale, however. We'll do a little measurement. So it is HO scale. Um, I did get some new uh, cars for the car me. Uh, the new edition is a uh, Challenger for the car me that's in downtown Belen near the Harvey House. Basically, the Harvey House, uh, this is where the car meet's happening. So, at Harvey House, there are Challengers and Camaros, just some of the old stuff. Um, I would definitely show you the train running, but the tracks, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. That was, oh, it sounded horrible. Track is down. Uh, so, where have I been? Uh, I went to New Mexico, and I had a blast. I actually got to go up into the cab of the rail runner. I actually got a tour of, like, the coaches, and there's so much hidden compartments in the Bombardier coaches. It's just amazing. And I got to go into the uh, locomotives, and the horn is a... 109 air chime and the uh what's weird about it is I never knew this but the MP36 is let me see here uh hold on bollocks I can't reach it but on the MP36 is there's like one horn in front of the snow plow behind it and the bell's right there and there's a horn in the back so it's dual horn which I found really interesting <laughs> And it's not just, I mean, there's the K5LA on the cab car, but these are K3s, I think. They're K3HAs, I, I don't remember. But they are K3s. I will definitely li list uh, this, those in the video and uh, some pictures of my trip. And you can pause and look at them, look at the horn. And, I mean, it was just phenomenal. I mean, they even said uh, when I go back, I get a ride in the cab, which will be pretty, pretty sweet. So, uh, a little, <laughs> this video is just, and a little update and stuff on getting things done and getting the line back up before summer starts. Um, yeah, that's basically all. <laughs> But, I'll show you how these look on the uh, track, so if you give me a second, I'll show you how they look, and I'll be right back with you. Here are the uh, freight cars, so well, the intermodals, and they are just really good looking on the layout, I must say. I like them. Uh, there is one problem, though, and that's a little piece in there is broken, so might come apart sometimes but um yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video i'm sorry i haven't been posting i've just been sick so i'll talk to you guys later i'll include those pictures and videos of the train and y'all have a good day day night whenever you're watching this